this video, we're going to show you how to paint a shower. I've got a shower right here. It's a fiberglass tub insert and it's kind of an ugly looking yellow and we're going to make it look brand new and paint it bright white. And this is a product we're going to be spraying on that could actually be used on a tile. It could be used on porcelain sinks and a lot of the other different surfaces. But it's a pretty simple process, just cleaning it, prepping it, and then spraying it. So here we go. I'm going to show you how we do this. So we're going to start this process off by by prepping this thing and cleaning it and this is a very important step if you don't clean this thing properly follow the instructions that the product gives you by uh, by properly cleaning it you could run into some real problems and I've seen in the past where if we don't get them clean properly they'll what we do they'll call they'll fish eye and what that is is when you spray the product on or brush it on it'll beat away from whatever contamination is on the surface or you could actually run into some adhesion problems so make sure you go through and clean this thing thoroughly and follow the instructions on the box. We're using a product and the, it's a product right here. It's from Homax and this is an actual kit and this kit comes with all the cleaning stuff that you need to clean this thing and sand it and then it comes with the product to apply it. And this product that we're actually using, the kit is actually a spray on. It comes with two spray cans. It actually comes in a brush on version too but we're going to be spraying it with the two spray cans and we're going to begin the prepping process right now. So we'll show you how we go about prepping this. So the first step in this process, they actually gave us in the kit, they gave us some steel wool and some cleaner, but what I'm gonna actually do to start this off with, I'm gonna use some crud cutter, and this is a concentrated cleaner degreaser right here. I'm gonna use the crud cutter with just a scouring pad. I've got a scouring pad right here. This is an actual Scotch-Brite Scotch -Brite pad also. I'm just gonna use these to begin the cleaning process first. So we had a shower door on here that we removed the shower door and it had silicone caulking and you want to make sure you get 100% of that silicone caulking off because nothing's going to stick to that. I'm just using a little razor blade. This is just a little device holds this razor blade and I'm just using it to actually scrape all this silicone caulking off. Very, very important to remove it all. The kit actually came with these steel wool pads right here, but we're using a sanding sponge right here. This is a medium sanding sponge because it's actually scouring and scuffing the surface up on this tub a lot better. Those, the, the, um, the steel wool wasn't scuffing it up enough. You definitely want to have your surface profile you know, scuffed up enough and scratched enough that your, your spray on epoxy is going to bite on it really well. There was also some little chips and stuff in here that you know, these sanding sponges are working really well with feathering those chips out and smoothing them out. So we scrubbed the heck out of this thing now. We've been just using our sanding sponge, and these are actually wet or dry sanding sponges, the scouring pad, and then using our crud cutter, just scrubbed it really well, got all that silicone off, and now we're wiping it all down, and then we're gonna be, we actually just got the cleaner that was in a kit, this is actually just TSP, and now we're starting the TSP process, cleaning it with that. So we did remove the fixture too, we got the escutcheon plate out right here so we can clean sand behind that. The shower, the, there was a plate down here on the nods. We actually pulled that plate off so we could actually paint and clean behind there also. So 
So now we're getting it pretty close to being clean. We're actually using our TSP that they actually provided in the kit. Now we got it said just to put it in a gallon of warm water. It's in our bucket. We're gonna rinse it. Um, we've cleaned it once with this TSP. We're gonna clean it one more time. Then we're gonna rinse it with uh, clean water. Then we'll let it dry for a day and then come back and begin painting this thing. So we're gonna start masking this thing. It's all dry now. We're gonna run frog tape. Just got some frog tape around. We're gonna run around all of our edges because we don't want any of this stuff bleeding through when we spray it and getting on our tile. This thing's all surrounded with tile. So we're gonna run frog tape first and then run two, two rows of nine inch paper beyond that. And then we're gonna drop a drop cloth down here and then we'll spray it. So my tub is thoroughly dry now. Now I'm gonna take my spray cans and begin spraying my first coat on here. And you spray your first coat on, this stuff dries in about 10 minutes. It dries extremely fast. The first coat, I'm not gonna be worried about covering this thing 100%. I'm just gonna get a light coat on there. My second coat is where I'm gonna make sure that thing is covered 100% and gelled out really good. I've been using these things, just spraying them on the side here. You wanna kinda of get the feel for how these things spray and how much you need to get on. But if you put too much on, it's gonna sag and run. And you can fix those sags or runs if you work on them right away or you're gonna have to wait. But we're gonna spray on our first coat and the first coat, typically it's gonna dry if at room temperature around 70 degrees, it'll be dry in about 10 minutes or so. And then you wanna reapply your second coat before six hours is up. So you have to reapply it, uh, reapply your second coat within that window. So I'm gonna spray this thing, work from top to bottom. I've been, been practicing on the tub right here, getting a feel for how the can works, but I'm gonna spray from top to bottom, let that thing dry for about a half hour, and I'll test it to make sure it's dry, then I'll spray my second coat. Okay, I've been using these spray cans for my first coat. It's just, this is a product I've actually never tried before, and um, I've never, never actually tried using a spray can or something like this before. And I've already gone through two spray cans, and I've got probably the first coat on here, but I've been having a lot of problems with the spray cans actually um, spraying out and getting a smooth finish on it. So they do actually have a product in a court that you can actually brush on too. So my actual second coat, I'm actually gonna go and I'm gonna brush this coat on instead of attempting to spray uh, the, my second coat on because I'm just not liking the finish that's coming out with it. I'm just gonna be using a flat bristle brush. It's a three inch brush to brush this and you gotta brush this on stuff on really fast because it actually dries just within a couple minutes. So I'm waiting for my first coat to dry. Just got a few more minutes and then I'm start brushing on this coat. So there you have it, our shower is all complete now. Now this wasn't the easiest process to do. There was a lot of trials and tribulations painting this thing. I have a video you can watch at the end of this to show you everything that went wrong with painting this thing and why I may suggest to you to never paint your own shower or tub or even sink. You can watch that video at the end of this video. If you're not a current subscriber to, to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, you can go check out my Facebook page, The Idaho Painter, or my website, theidahopainter.com, where I'm giving away a lot of tools and products now. So you gotta go check that out at the end of the video 
end of this video, but don't forget to watch my video at the end of this video, why you shouldn't paint your own shower. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you on my next video. Out.